Hi and welcome to the Incite My Life channel. Today I'm going to be going over an SOA exam preparation question. This is our question of the week. So to begin, an insurer estimates that Smith's time until death is uniformly distributed on the interval from 0 to 5, and Jones's time until death is uniform on the interval from 0 to 10. The insurer assumes that the two times of death are independent of one another. Find the probability that Smith is the first of the two to die. So take the time to think this one over. Maybe pause the video and try and work it out for yourself for a little bit. But I'm going to start doing the solution right now. So to begin, what type of uniform distribution is this? Is this a discrete or a continuous distribution? And we know that it's continuous because time of death is represented by a dense interval. So what that means is that Smith and Jones can die at any points in their interval. They're not going at set guideposts. You know, like we wouldn't say that Smith is going to die in exactly one year, exactly two years, exactly three years. You know, we wouldn't say that because Jones could really die at one year or he could die at one and a half years or one and three quarters of a year. There's a lot of possibilities, so that's why the interval is dense. So the continuous uni uniform distributions are given by the density function, 1 over b minus a. So since we declared them to be continuous uniform distributions, we're going to use this function to represent their times of death. So for Smith, and by the way, the b minus a represents the endpoints of the interval. So a would be 0, b would be 5 for Smith. So 1 over b minus a would be 1 over 5. And then for Jones, it would be 1 over 10 minus 0, which would be 1 over 10. Now that we've gotten that done, the next part of the question says that the insurer assumes that the two times of death are independent of one another. So what does that mean to be independent? Well, I think of it in terms of set notation. So independence would be this. The probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So in this case, A and B would represent our density functions. So the combined density function would be 1 over 50. Now that we have all this information, what we want to do is try and integrate the, the region. But what region are we dealing with? So what I like to do is draw out a picture. And you can see here I have the green lines. The x-axis is represented by Smith, and the y-axis is represented by Jones. And the very endpoints represent their maximum time of death. So Jones is destined to die in 10 years, and Smith is destined to die in 5 years. Now, I have a j minus s is greater than 0. So where did I get that? Let me explain. Let's recall that the problem said, find the probability that Smith is the first of the two to die. So in other words, Jones's lifespan should be greater than Smith's. Hence, we're looking for the probability that J is greater than S, which implies that J minus S is greater than zero. And so all I did, did there is I subtracted S from both sides of that inequality. That way I get J minus S is greater than zero. Now, what I want to do is graph that because all that is is a linear equation. Just imagine instead of j and s, it was x and y. So when you graph that, you get that um, green line that I have in the middle of the graph that's pointing to 5, 5. So um, with inequalities, remember, you always want to shade the region that it's talking about. So the shaded region is represented by those red lines. So now one way to do this is to acknowledge that every probability is uniformly distributed. So now this implies that we can simply look at how much of the region is shaded. So um, all you would have to do is take the following formulas here. So the area of a triangle. And if you know the area of that figure, the shaded region, then hey, even more power to you. But what I did was I found the area of the triangle, the blank space there that little blank triangle formed by Smith and the line. And I know that it's 1 half base times height. So the height is 5, and the base is 5. So that's 25 over 2. 
and then the total region is 50. So the shaded region must be 50 minus that triangle, which gives us 75 over 2. And remember, we're looking at what is it out of the total figure. So it's 75 over 2, which is about, I think it was 37 and a half. So um, 75 over 2 out of 50. So when you simplify that, you get 3 over 4. So that's actually the probability of the shaded region and the answer to the problem. Now another way that you could do it would be through integration. So we're going to take our function, which was 1 over 50, that was their combined function, and we're going to do a double integration with respect to Jones and with respect to Smith. So Jones is time of death. Let's think about this. What would be the area of integration for Jones? Well, we know that we want to show that he lives longer than Smith. So his time of death has to be anywhere from the end of Smith's life until the 10-year mark. And so if we integrate that, we get 10 minus s over 50 with respect to Smith now. So what we're going to do is remember that Smith is going to die anywhere between 0 and 5 years, or 0 and 5 whatever. I mean, it, the problem didn't specify, but he's going to die anywhere between 0 and 5. So then all you have to do is integrate that and you get your final answer of 0.75. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Hey, if you liked what you saw, then please subscribe. I have a lot of other tutorials. I have calculus, I have algebra, and I'm constantly updating the channel. So please stop by leave a comment, a thumbs up, some feedback on what you want to see, what I if I made a mistake, please let me know. And I just I just really appreciate it. Thank you so much for making it this far. See you next